Hi, I'm Zach, and in today's video, we're gonna be getting these chicken tractors ready for our meat birds that are coming in two days. cold today. It's about 45 degrees, but it's supposed to be 80 degrees next week. Hey there, little piglets. Hey there, Mary Golden Bacon. These guys got moved around a little bit and they've got this whole area to run around and eat all the grass. And they sure are getting big quick. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that subscribes and comments and likes on these videos. It really means a lot to us. These are our John Siskovich chicken tractors. We have two of these. We built these when we first got here to house our chickens. And today our meat birds are actually shipping from Hoover Hatchery. And so they should be here in a day or two. They won't be in these for a couple weeks, but I wanna get them ready. I used some really cheap tarps. I got a good deal on tarps and this one's not too bad, but this green one over here is kind of getting beat up and you can see right at the top it's starting to wear a little bit so i decided to go to harbor freight and i got the heavy duty tarps so i'm going to make those upgrades on the tarps and i need to upgrade the wheel system on these chicken tractors i've just been using some really small 10 inch wheels and honestly they are too small it's not bad when you're on short grass and it's just really nice and level but if there's any elevation change or you know if there's a rock or a stump or anything it just drags on the ground and it drags everything with it and it just becomes kind of a pain to pull around we have made some videos of us bringing those chicken tractors all the way from over there into the barn and you could probably see that was a bit of a pain in the butt so I am gonna mess around and try and come up with a good system to lift these chicken tractors up a little bit more, uh, kind of like an adjustable tire to, you know, raise them up when I need to and then lower them when I need to. As you can see, when I'm pulling it, you can see that all that straw just comes with it and makes it really difficult to pull. So that's one of the reasons that I wanna lift it up a little bit more, maybe three, four inches off the ground, it would make things so much easier. You can see we already did a repair on this one. This wasn't really the tarp's fault, this was our fault. We put the chickens in with the cows and Rosie just stuck her head right through that. This is our chicken tractor that we turned into a kind of an egg mobile for our egg layers. And we tried putting some nesting boxes in there, some roosts. We'll probably leave the roosts for now, but these nesting boxes, we put those in right before winter time and they haven't seen an egg. And we're not gonna be putting our egg layers back in these things anymore. We, we have a different system we're using for them. So I'm gonna rip those out as well. And then we'll get some chicken wire on the top and get the tarp installed. So this gives you a good idea of how our chicken tractors work. Basically just a frame, a wood frame on the bottom, two by 10 by about four feet, I think. It's just got metal conduit that goes up and then one that connects them on the top. We've got our feeder right here and this can actually raise and lower depending on the height of the chickens. And then we've got our water as well. Our water is just a five gallon bucket with these nipples right here on the bottom and they just peck at these and the water releases. One of the mistakes I made on this last tarp was the tarp was way too big so it had to be folded and I couldn't use those little eye connectors right there to weave everything in. 
I had to actually fold it and kind of make a hole through the tarp and that just ends up ripping it like crazy. I got a, a tarp that fits to size. It's a little too short. So on one end, I'm gonna install this chicken wire. When you build these Johnson Scope, it should actually calls to do this on the roof, but I didn't end up doing it last year because I had the tarp covering everything. But this year we're gonna make an upgrade and we're gonna put this on one side of the roof. I bought these heavy duty nine mil silver tarps from Harbor Freight. This is about 10 bucks each, super cheap. Hopefully they last more than a season. I'm using cable ties to connect everything. Well, what do you think? I think this tarp looks a lot nicer and they have a little spot where they get some rain, they can get some weather and uh, get some fresh air, even though they have all of these bottom pieces that are open for them. Now, the next upgrade I need to make to these chicken tractors is my wheel system. So originally what I did is I drilled a hole through the piece of the wood. I would just lift this up, throw my wheel on and then we'd go. But that only gives me maybe two inches, an inch and a half or two inches off of the ground. And it just didn't seem like it was enough. And sometimes it would make it really hard uh, going over, you know, unlevel dirt or unlevel, you know, pieces of ground. So I have been thinking for the last couple weeks on how I want to upgrade this and be able to raise this up just a tiny bit more. And it should be a little bit more stable than just throwing a bolt through a two by four. This is what I've come up with for these wheels. First, I drill a hole at the end of my two by four, place my bolt through, and then I place my tire on there and put my nut on the end, tighten that all down. And then I drill another hole past that wheel somewhere closer into the middle of the two by four. And then on the chicken tractor, I screw a piece of two by four, drill a hole through that, place my bolt through the hole, and then place my two by four with my wheel on and tighten everything up. And then I take a piece of one by and I screw that to the back of the chicken tractor. And then we pull this up, push it back. Same with the other side. And then when you got it in your spot, you can just go like this, lower it down, do the same to the other side. Now you're sitting on the ground. Well, this is my idea for an easier mobile John Siskovich coop. Uh, they do make some expensive metal wheel systems that you can, you know, push down and up and uh, they'll raise and lower as you need it. But this is a lot cheaper. This only cost me about $40 or so. Those other ones are a bit expensive. One thing that could potentially be a problem is how much space I have right here. So moving around the farm, this is a perfect height, but I might need to adjust it and lower it down when I'm actually moving in the field. So that way we don't have a bunch of chickens getting out. Something Ashlyn actually thought of was you could put basically a flap on the backside here, just kind of like a, a, like a rubber mat or something that basically flaps and, and sits really flush to the ground when we're pulling it up. And then when we lower it, it'll just sit right on the ground. That might be a good option to keep chickens in. Honestly, when you're moving chickens, no matter what height, a lot of times they'll get out, they get stuck. At least this way, if they do fall behind when we're pulling the tractor, they're not gonna get squished or pinned down right here. I really do like these John Siskovich chicken tractors because I can actually stand up in there. Not all the way, but I'm six foot and I can fit in there just fine. And I didn't wanna bore you with the other ones, so I got this one done in the meantime. It's nice to upgrade some things. These are gonna make life so much easier. It's gonna make it a lot easier for Ashlyn if she does need to move it. I just got the email that her chicks are on the way, so they should be here either tomorrow or the next day. We are super excited for that. We ordered 60 meat chickens. In the last video, I was talking about all this stuff, and that's gonna be a bunch of pig pens, four pig pens, actually, not a bunch, but four pig pens. And they're gonna be set up right here where the chicken coop is at. I'm gonna do some really nice like framed in cattle panels and really sturdy, really strong 
back on the other side of this barn right here, this barn wall is those pig plots that I'm gonna be planting a bunch of forage like turnips and ryegrass. And since I didn't get it on a video, I figured I'd show you my chick shaw. I built this the other day. I just tossed it together. I call it the scrap shaw because pretty much everything in here is free except the wheels and tires that I put on it. So here's my chick shaw. These are for the egg layers and I've just had the door open for them. So they kind of just been free ranging in the barn and going outside and whatnot. But there's a pole that goes right through there. It is perfect size. It's just a cattle panel going over the top and then a tarp on top. We'll see how long this tarp lasts. This is a cheap tarp. Got some really nice wheels and I got my access door here for the eggs. I've just been leaving this in here for right now because I want them to get trained to going in there every single night. And almost all of them except one of them is completely trained on going in there every night. And then I shut this behind them uh, because what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna actually put this behind the cows because what I'm finding is one, we have a lot of flies and two, the cow pies tend to sit around for quite a while, especially if it doesn't rain. And I would much rather have chickens that scratch that those cow pies out and spread the manure, better fertilizer for the pastures, and uh, the chickens get the, the fly larva. Bert and Penelope are in this pen now. This is where the cows were all winter long. They also had access to our acre and a half outside, but this is where they were to get shelter. And you can see the chickens have just been going crazy. The pigs have been doing a pretty good job of turning this up. Isn't that right, Penelope? Penelope hasn't come back into heat yet, so hopefully that middle of April she actually bred. We'd be having another August litter as well as Delilah having a maybe late August litter. Everything is greening up really nicely here in northeastern Kentucky. Like I said, our meat birds get here in two days, well maybe one day, but probably two days and I cannot wait. We're gonna have them in a brooder for a couple weeks and then we're gonna put them back in these chicken tractors. We're gonna have 30 in each one of those and we're gonna move them on our big acre and a half. This is our winter pasture for the cows. They don't go on this at all, all summer long, just only in the winter time. So we're gonna put the chickens on it this summer so that way they can fertilize everything. I didn't get a chance to spread manure. Uh, my neighbor does have a manure spreader, so I was hoping I was gonna be able to get to it, but we will use the chickens, they'll fertilize it, and we'll be able to feed those chickens. I know this was a shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.